Alright guys, uh, y'all was wanting me to turn an alternator into a motor. Um, it's, uh, no one really explains how to do this or how it actually works. Um, you got a 555 timer on inside here that throws the signal through a MOSFET into each of these three wires. Into the back of your alternator, there is a spot uh, when you take the bridge rectifier out, I'm not going to show you me doing that, but uh, you take that out and then you put a low voltage. Uh, I found that 3.7 volts works really good. It gives you a good speed and enough torque to, you know, to do whatever you wanted to do with. But uh, 12 volts will go real slow and you can't stop it from turning. So, with that being said, you've got your positive and your negative uh, 12 volts to power your controller. Um, this is just a simple little race car controller. I think it's an XR10. Uh, they're very simple. It's a 555 timer with some MOSFETs in there and a heat sink cool on top to keep it cooled down. Uh, with this one I couldn't, I tried to get my potentiometer just hooked up to it direct and I couldn't do it so I went ahead and spent 50 bucks. Then got me a uh, controller right here, a little hand piece for forward and reverse and stuff. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to show you what this guy, I'm going to show you what this does. Uh, the yellow and green, don't worry about that, it's just yellow and green, it's, it's uh, hooked up here to that white wire and this white wire right here. Nothing big. Um, I don't even have to have the battery charger on. I charged it earlier. Got the red wire and the yellow wire coming from battery up here. Power this. You can hear it's on. Vibrating on the. So, there we go. Oh, oh, did you? Yeah, if you don't mind. Without the battery, anything right there, it's uh, actually quite strong right there. Not a very high RPM. I'm going to change this around so it's, but it it will burn me if I try to stop it. Um, well, there you have it. Alternator in the motor. Let me get the serial number on there. The uh, yeah, well, there you go. Battery remanufactured serial number out there. I think it was out of an old Chrysler or something. It's 80 amp alternator. Not very difficult, but doesn't matter how you hook these three wires up because it is a well, that one just came off. But it is a BLDC motor, a brushless yes. direct current motor. Um, there you have it. These three wires are just the yellow, orange, and blue are hooked to that. Power this with about three volts is where I want, but 12 volts. Will give you a very strong motor. Uh, put a go kart or something on it, and then you got your uh, transmitter here. This is your on and off switch, and that button is how you program it. You will push the button and turn it on. Well, like, share, subscribe. This is how you build a alternator. B.
BLDC motor. Well, actually, it's just a brushless direct current motor now because I took the uh, diodes out of it. But you can do the exact same opposite and power these two wires with direct current and then spin this with a motor and you will have unregulated alternating current coming out of all three of these. This will be joined to your ground, in the dirt, blah, 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 bridge rectifier, alternating current bridge rectifier, not direct current bridge rectifier. And there you have it, guys. Okay, anyways, like, share, subscribe.